Hello friends and welcome to my today's lecture that is the character analysis of Claudia Macteer in the bluest tie by Tony Morrison. In my last lecture I had spoken about the character analysis of Piccola. Today I will be talking about Claudia Macteer, Piccola's friend. Claudia Macteer acts as a narrator in the bluest eye where she narrates parts of it sometimes from a child's perspective and sometimes as that of an adult looking back. She is a nine-year-old girl and like Piccola, she also suffers from the racist beauty standards and material insecurity but she has a very loving and stable family which makes all the difference for her. Now Claudia and Piccola, if we see together, there are two different characters in the novel where Piccola is passive. Even when she is abused, she does not react or fight back. But Claudia emerges as a fighter and rebels against the adults' tyranny over children and also against the black community's idealization of white beauty standards. Now, When Claudia sees some boys or a group of boys harassing and troubling Piccola, she attacks them. When she learns that Piccola is pregnant, she along with her sister Frida makes a plan to save Piccola's baby from being rejected by the community. The Claudia attributes her bravery to her ignorance of her limitations and also self-hatred which has affected many people of her community but from which we are for which she is unaware of. She fairly narrates the events that unfold in Lorraine because her life is very stable and she has no fear. Her vision is not blurred by the pain which has driven Piccola into madness but she is quite sane. Her existence in the novel is a significant testimony to the fact that most black families are not like that of Piccola. Such black families like that of Claudia are able to face hardships in the testing times and they do not fall apart. Her viewpoint is important and valuable also because it melts the child's and adult's point of view. As a child, she registers what Piccola experiences and as an adult viewpoint, she corrects the childish one when it is incomplete. She is a messenger not only of suffering but also of hope. So Claudia recognizes her inner wealth, worth as well as her own inner violence. She enjoys destroying the white dolls because while she is destroying them, she is satisfying her resentment of the white girls and white values that would label her as black and 
ugly. Both she and her sister have learned the lessons from their mother who have taught them to be strong black females who can fight back and not be overwhelmed and brainwashed by the beauty standards that are forced on them by white and black women. Especially, Claudia is very much supportive of her family members, especially her mother, who has imbibed moral values in her daughters. She has also taught them to fight against injustice and the forces that threaten to destroy them. Both these sisters resent the fact that not only white but even the black society values white-skinned people. They know to create their self-worth in this world of beauty to which they do not belong. So we see, uh, we find that Claudia is a messenger not only of suffering but also of hope. That's all for today. I'll be coming up with more lectures of mine. Till then, goodbye and thank you.